softly spoken with no strings tying you to me I'm happy in your company with no emotion cause my love deserves to be free I never wanna look at a house in the garden I never wanna lock you down Hey guys welcome back Today we will be talking about two spells I have done both of them. Just want to say a couple things. I will not be performing the spell in front of you, but I will explain what to do. For two reasons. One, I don't want people reversing the spell. Two, I don't want to have my attention intentions off. So, yeah. All you need for the first spell we'll be talking about. are these ingredients in front of you. I found this at a Goodwill. So keep your eyes out for thrift stores and stuff. If you can't find one of these, you can use a glass bowl or a porcelain bowl. I do not recommend using plastic. Next, you need a marker or a pen, but I recommend a marker. These don't have to worry about yet. In this container, there are bay leaves. You can get these at Dollar Trees, but there are some Dollar Trees that don't sell them. Whole, at least. You want whole bay leaves etc. Also, you will need a lighter. So, what you're going to do is cast a circle around you. I recommend doing this for spells and rituals. There are some people who do it just by reading tarot cards or using a pendulum. I personally do not. So what you're going to do is get a bay leaf out. Now, with your marker or pen on the bay leaf, you are going to write what you want. I personally usually write protection or luck. But you can really write anything you want. Um, reminder that not all spells work 100% of the time. Usually around 90-80% to 80 of the time most spells work. You just got to make sure you have your intentions right on the spell. So you have your intentions, a circle casted, you write whatever you need to write. So your intention is set. You're going to get your lighter. And your bay leaf with your writing on it. This is a demonstration. There's nothing on the bay leaf. As you can see. It might crackle a little bit. You don't want to burn for a second. And drop it into your bowl. So now you'll have your ashes. Wait a second, make sure your attention's set. Just kind of sit there for a second. And then what this is going to come in handy for. Get a jar or a bottle of some sort. And you can label it or just no. But you're going to put your ashes in here. Save your ashes. I saved mine from these bay leaf spells and incense and a bunch of other spells. So once you're done burning your bay leaf, put the ashes in here. You can use it to make black salt. There are a couple ways to make black salt. The two most common ways are to mix salt, ashes, and charcoal. But if you do not have charcoal, that is fine. You can just mix ashes and salt. The main reason why people add charcoal is to make it more dark. 
So that spell is done. Close your circle. Moving on to the next spell. Remember, I did all of these spells myself. Next spell, what you're going to need is eggshell powder. All you have to do is grind up some eggshells. It's used for protection. And Himalayan salt. They have this at Dollar Tree. You do not need to spend a bunch of money to buy Himalayan salt. It is not in like a little bottle, like a seasoning bottle. It is like in a bag. I do believe I got this bottle at Hobby Lobby and this one at Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do is get a jar of some sort. By the way, the spell is for protection. So, cast a circle around you. So you have your jar. What you're going to do, for me, this spell has no intentions for it. It's just me showing you what to do. So what you're going to do is get to our egg shell powder. And put it in your jar. More than this. I'd say about halfway, maybe a little less. Then get your Himalayan salt. I put a seashell in mine to use as a spoon. Then, after all the eggshells you put in, put Himalayan salt. Both of these ingredients are great for protection, that's why this is a protection spell. You're going to put your cork in, then seal it with some candle wax. You can light the candle to burn this entire time, which I recommend, rather than lighting it at the end and waiting a couple minutes to get the right amount of wax. So that is a protection spell with eggshells and Himalayan salt. Now... Uncast your circle. Now ground yourself for a minute. Just sit there and just... And then there you go. You have a protection spell or a bay reef spell. These were both of my first spells I've ever did. For me, what I do when I'm done with a spell... I get a bell. Make sure the bell connects with you. Like the ding of the bell should connect with you in some sort of way. It should feel soothing to hear the sound of this bell. You do not have to do this. I do this personally. But once you're done with the spell, just give it a little. And then, boom, the spell is done. That's what I do, personally. And now I will rate each spell 1 through 10. 10 being it absolutely worked, there's nothing wrong with it. 1 being it did nothing. The bay leaf spells usually work about to a 6 or 7 out of 10. There's been a couple times where one of them has not worked. Otherwise, I think they're great and very simple. It also could have been because I was distracted. The protection spell with the Himalayan salt and eggshells, I'd say that one worked about an 8 to 9 out of 10. I might have to redo it because I did it a long time ago, so it's kind of wearing down, and I haven't charged it, so it's probably a good idea. Anyway, goodbye my little witchlings, and bless be.